In this video, I will show you how to install Windows Server 2012 on VirtualBox. Step number one. First of all, download Windows Server 2012. Step number two. Download the latest VirtualBox. Step number three. Now, install VirtualBox and follow the simple instruction. Click on VirtualBox and then click on Next. Location by default C. Click on Next. Next and then click on Finish. Step number 4. Once VirtualBox is installed on your computer, open it and select New to create new virtual machine. Step number 5. Enter a name for the virtual machine Windows Server Select Microsoft Windows Select Windows 12 Click on Next Step number 6. Now allocate RAM for your virtual machine. The minimum RAM requirements for Windows Server 2012 is 512 MB but the virtual machine may not work with the minimum RAM requirement therefore allocate at least 1 GB RAM Step number 7 Leave the default Create a virtual hard disk now Option Enable and click on Create to continue Step number 8 Leave the virtual hard disk to VGI virtual box image and click next to proceed further. Step number 9. Now choose the fixed size option to create a virtual hard disk and then click on next. Step number 10. Allocate desired disk space for your virtual machine. However, Make sure that the minimum hardware requirement for 32 GB is met for your Windows Server 2012 virtual machine. You can also change the default location of the virtual hard disk from the folder icon next to your virtual machine name and select a different partition to save the virtual disk image file. And then click on save. Step number 11 and click on create. Step number 12. After your virtual hard disk is created, click settings to configure VM virtual machine settings. Step number 13. Now go to system menu and enable this option. And then click on OK. Step number 14. From the processor tab, allocate at least two processors, provided your hardware can support them. For better virtual machine performance and to avoid VM installation issues, I am using a Core i5 laptop, so allocating two processors still leaves me with two additional ones for my physical machine as Core i5 has two physical and two virtual cores due to hyper threading and then click on OK Step number 15 Head over to the storage menu and click empty followed by the CD icon to select the Windows Server 2012 ISO image. Select. Open. Click OK to continue. Step number 16. Select your virtual machine name and click Start from the left side of the main interface to begin installation.
The risk of the installation process is not much different from a normal Windows operating system installation. However, you can check this video. Press enter to boot from DVD. Check the defaults on the language screen and click next. Click install now on the install screen. Click the second line item for the GUI graphical user interface. The default install is now server core. Then click next. Read license agreement. Turn on checkbox. I accept the license terms and then click on next. Click custom install windows only advanced. The disk you are using should be listed. If not, you will need to load driver. Select the disk you will be installing on. If you do not want to change drive options, click next. If you want to use dual boot using Natio boot to VHD, click drive option then you can create custom partitions. Click on next. It will then start copying files. This will take a while will be 20 minutes or so depending on hardware performance it will reboot a couple times automatically after the first reboot it will no longer be running off of the DVD in the password box enter a new password for this computer it must meet complexity requirements re-enter password in the second password box and then click on finish press ctrl plus r plus delete at the same time to get the login screen up go to input and then click on Insert, Control, Alt, Delete. Enter password and press Enter.